can't give a sermon to a bunch of kids who are from the age of 17 to 35 and not think that they haven't encountered or one of their teachers or one of their friends or mm-hmm. one of their coworkers is gay. Like, or even one of them. Like, I mean, there's Muslims, and I don't want to say they're gay, but they, they have homosexual tendencies. Mm. It doesn't make them gay. It doesn't? But, again, it goes back to my earlier point of just because you do the action doesn't mean you're that. Mm. Now, when you justify the action, that's where the issue comes in. Okay. It's still a, so, Islamically, homosexuality is wrong. Mm-hmm. Right. You're not going to find any Muslim except for these new age, liberal, I want to be mm-hmm. inclusive of everybody and everybody's right and we got to accept that. Except for them, which is few, but they have a loud voice. So, and because it's LGBT community, they're yeah. accepted and they're amplified. Yeah. Cool. But Islam, Islam across the board, we don't, we're, we're not promoters of homosexuality. Right. But you have to understand that if you go to all girls school or all boys school, God forbid, or mm-hmm. whatever, you. No, nah, I'm going to get bashed for saying God forbid. It's okay. It's I mean, okay. I don't care. Because okay. we got this conversation. But, you know, whatever. Now, all of a sudden, four years, you're around nothing but boys. Yeah. I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not going to throw scenarios out there. But whatever happens. But more so for girls. It's cool for a girl to, you know, see, get undressed. And he's like, right. say, so, okay, say you're a girl and you're Muslim. Because I know girls who've never had sex. Mm-hmm. Never seen, whatever. And then you start seeing these nice shaped boobs and ass. It's like, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, whatever. Okay, cool. And then you see your friends touching it. And you're like, I can do that. You know, because now it's, like, it's okay for a girl to slap a girl's ass yeah. in society. Mm-hmm. I don't agree with it. But, you know, it's okay for a girl to kiss a girl. It's normalized for women to kiss women rather yeah, it's than normalized men to now. kiss men. So now you have someone who's like, and then they become friends with this person. So they may not be accepting of it. But it's like, that's my friend. You can't call her that. Mm-hmm. Why, why, why she can't come through? Why, because she gay? <laughs> oh, and then it's like, and then all of a sudden you find yourself justifying something mm-hmm. because of the fact that that's your friend. Whereas you can protect your friend, but not your friend's action. We you look mm-hmm. at. Mm, don't want to go into that subject. Mm-mm. No, no. no, I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, there's so many, there's so many scenarios. Yeah, of, no, we get it. I get it. Yeah, there's so I many. Understand. Like because someone's your friend, you start justifying their action, and it's like, nah. I, I really want to say this. <laughs> say it. I mean, oh, say it. No, just, just, Here we go. Just because it's drama and shock vibe, I just want to be petty. But um, <laughs> oh, I mean, God. just say it. Say, say it now. You got to say, say it. it. Now you got to say it. Nah, you got, you got, you got. Nah, I'm not gonna say it. Never mind. I'm cool with people. I'm cool with people. In, I'm cool with people in in, in that camp. I'll shut okay, up. Okay. Okay. But yeah, like um, whoa, that's like, an off mic situation. Yeah, like, but I'm saying, but be, like, you're cool with someone, uh-huh. but you're not cool with their actions. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, for example, I got a brother, and my brother's something stupid. Clearly wrong. Mm-hmm. Clearly, something stupid. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna let you bust his ass and beat him. And that's my brother. I'm a rocker, yeah. mm-hmm. but I'm not gonna justify what he does. Yeah. Oh yeah. So a lot of times, what's happening now is because the LGBT community is so large, and saying something bad about them becomes, you know, it gets you excommunicated and off this list. You, if I came out and said I don't rock with them and blah blah blah, they shit, whatever. You think I'm gonna be going to certain events? Hell no. I'm mm-hmm. cool with. I'm cool with Ty. Mm-hmm. He's gay. Mm-hmm. I'm cool with certain people. They get, and I'm cool with them. But you're not gonna have like one. I mean, one one time someone struck my beard. I was like, dude, you can't struck my beard. Like I understand. I, I get that you're that you're a little feminine, and you're gonna you, you you're cool. You're not even trying to approach me. It's like yeah, yeah can't, I'm like Mm-mm. yeah, you can't do that. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, you know, it's like don't even make it more than what it is. You cannot stroke my beard. I'm not. Right. I'm not trying to be homophobic and all that. Mm-hmm. Right. Just don't you touch just me, bro. Them, but he made it seem like <laughs> oh, you don't like my kind. I'm like. Dude, no, I don't like men, so you can't touch my beard. But if that became a thing, all of a sudden, oh, you can't come to this event because you don't like my people, mm-hmm. or you uh-huh. can't do that. But it's like, nah, I don't like the acts. You cool? I'm in the industry. I know how to play. The, I know how to play the game. But don't. So on a religious end, you have to understand. And this goes with anything. I'm just using that because it's a conversation that that, that that's been had especially with happened in Orlando mm-hmm. that guy being Muslim and so on yeah. like you know it's a, it's a conversation and we have to we have to stop being afraid to have conversation mm-hmm. that needs to be had I'm not talking about the stupid conversation of going to Trump Tower and have a conversation yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm, talking about, yeah. I'm talking about real conversations yeah. that need to be had I'm talking about I'm, I'm speaking more about Muslims because the elders in the community don't want to talk about homosexuality they mm-hmm. don't want to talk about mm-hmm. rap they don't want to talk about um 
whatever. Trump, they don't want to talk about politics. Right, and I feel like that's so detrimental, especially to their Extremely. children, because you you don't want to talk about all these things like sex, homosexuality, mm-hmm. and all these really pressing issues that are clearly evident and are going to affect your kids no matter what. You don't want to talk about them. But then when your kid winds up gay or your daughter exactly. winds up pregnant exactly. or whatever, and you're like, oh my God, how did this happen? And you're Stay acting all confused. Go nowhere. It's like, and it's like, if you would have talked to your child, maybe you could prevent you could have prevented her from getting pregnant. Mm-hmm. Maybe you would have knew the, he was gay from when he was five and you would have been able to you know what I'm saying like but also on our end we're not educating ourselves to how to speak to them too because a lot of them are in power like they're they're the heads of these mosques these masjids Mm -hmm. they're the heads of certain organizations which you know they put the work in they deserve to be there Mm -hmm. but they also have to give us leeway so that we can work together and build something better but what happens is unfortunately is that Oh, not, like it's, I mean, I'm using from just personal experience. I changed your pamphlets. I sent you to school. I right. did this. So who are you to tell me you can't do this? You can't right. do that. Right. And, pe- and blah, blah, blah. parents will, will rather view their children as something they created and they need to mold and nothing. Mm-hmm. And they and their their personality won't stray from what they're inflicting on them. But yeah. that's never the case. Like I can mm. I can mold. I can have a daughter and I could tell her do this, wear this, only hang out with these people, only go here, only and eat you this. Step out. And then she step out. When she's not around me, and something else influences her, that's her brain starts working, and that's her becoming her own person. And maybe she might decide to go out with this person, or Mm -hmm. eat this food, or wear this skirt. You know what I'm saying? Like, and people, it's just it's just right or wrong. That's her path, and it's just so unrealistic for parents to understand. That's the path, and we have to be there to be like, all right, you Mm -hmm. fucked up, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let you sleep here tonight. Fuck up two more times. You gotta get your own place. Right, but you gotta you gotta give them that leeway. 